Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Reinick, a double board certified OBGYN and infertility specialist, and let's talk about one reason why we might want to remove a patient's fallopian tubes for their fertility. So this is a cartoon of the female reproductive tract, and actually we have to make it a little bit more accurate by putting the fallopian tubes actually inside the tubes. This is all an open system. So through the cervix into the uterine cavity and then out the fallopian tubes is communication from outside the body inside the body. And we can demonstrate with a test that puts fluid through it and we should see fluid come out both sides. If the tube is damaged, sometimes it's blocked at the end and the fluid will accumulate in one of the tubes. When fluid accumulates like this, then the tube can get dilated and it can look a little bit more like that. And this is a problem because a dilated tube does not function the way that it should and it can also accumulate with fluid which is a problem for fertility because that seeps back into the uterine cavity, which can impact this blastocyst here from implanting normally. There are probably three main ways this can happen. One, the embryo could be flushed out by the fluid, so a mechanical impact. Two, the fluid can be toxic directly to the embryo, impacting viability. And three, it can impact the endometrial receptivity to the blastocyst so implantation doesn't occur. In order to improve fertility, that communication between the tube either needs to be cut or the tube needs to be removed. Treated successfully, that should hopefully help with implantation and successful pregnancy.